there, this is Amanda Hill from the Social Media Cafe and I'm going to talk to you about lists on Twitter today. So, this is the Social Media Cafe uh, brand page which gets nowhere near the kind of interaction and everything else of the others which is why actually I've put the profile on here of that's what this is, if you want to follow us and engage come and chat on Amanda underscore Hill. However, let's have a look at lists on here. So just log in and go and have a look at your page and I want you to then click in so you just need to click home which is just here and go to lists and then you just click create a list and let's pick a name um, so I'm in London so let's do London London peeps that I engage with now it's quite important if you're going to make this public that you uh, put a nice description and an interesting uh, list name that you're going to get and people are not going to get upset with. So if you're going to think, oh, I'm just going to put all of these people in a slightly derogatory list, not a good thing, you're going to make it private. Uh, sorry, public. As you can see from public and private, you can do this for your own. So if you are going to do that, please keep it private. So then you're not upsetting anybody. That's not a good thing to do deliberately. So let's save the list and let's go and have a look. Now, we can start looking for people to add to that list from who we've got or we can go and have a look at the people that we're already following or who are following us on here. And then we can start adding people on here. So, um, I'm fairly certain I'm not following myself on here but why don't I do that? And the reason you might want to do that is because if people start following your list and you're not in it, they're not going to follow you. Does that make sense? Now, there are things that it can suggest up here of who to follow. And Hannah is actually just out of London, but that would be a good one to go in there. And Mark's probably a good one to go in there. Um, neither of these people are being followed on this particular list, but they are on my own list. So let's just follow Hannah and I'm going to put myself in as well. I bet there's going to be hundreds of Amanda Hills. Oh, I'm already following myself, so that's pretty cool. So I can now go back to my list and put myself in it. So let's go back to our list. And if I put myself in a list that says social media, people start following social media people or they're looking for lists with that in, they're going to find me. So that's probably a good thing for your target market as well. So let's put it public, save the list, and then I'm going to add myself. So just on the right here, it tells you that I'm following them. And here I can add you to my list. For some reason the button on the left wasn't having it, but I'm blaming that on Camtasia. So there you go, I'm now adding myself to a list. So. I created the London list earlier and I've just created the social media list and I'm now adding to both of them. I can go through all of the people, it actually does make sense when you start following people to automatically put them in a list and lots of people are doing that with me, I'm listed on 182 places. Now if you actually look at the lists that I'm on you'll see I've just put myself into t those two and you then be able to see the tweets of people that are in those lists. So if you have quite a heavy stream, a list is a very good way of filtering to listen to what other people are saying. So let's just have a look at some of the other lists. And this might be helpful to you to find people to follow. 
So if you look and you find that somebody's got a list of IFAs, if you happen to be in the IFA world, this is a good way of finding people to follow. So also it might be an area thing that you're looking for. So again, go and do that. I seem to have a list all of my own from Richard. Thank you very much. Um, as you can see here, um, Stella has a list called London. So she's got 16 people following this list. And they're all the people. So this could be a good way to find other people in your location. Have a read about who they are and what they do and whether they're people that you might naturally have an affinity with and may be able to help. So if you just click home again, your lists are here. So you can create a list, add it on there and then start adding people to it. And the easiest way to add people to it is to click on their profile and over on the right hand side you will get a button I want on Cafe Social Media but on there you will get a button that you can then add these people to the list. I hope that's helpful to you.